Now, you're, you are hosting the SAG Awards I on am. Sunday. This is, <laughs> is, is... Is this the first time they've had a host for yes, that show? Yes, in the history of the show. Oh, wow. Which was why I took the gig. I thought that's so cool. And I just, you know, I don't know. I'm a woman. I, I did, my genitalia is irrelevant. It's not the first host. It's, the, it's not the first female host. It's the first host. I thought that was kind of cool. Right? Yeah, you are the first host. Yeah. You're guaranteed to be the best host ever. Do you get nervous about something like this? Is uh, this something that... Yes and no. I get nervous. In, I'm nervous right now. Uh-huh. Um, in, the, in the week leading up to it, because all the writing is going on, and you want to say funny things and say the right things and things that are appropriate. And, and this not is a weird mad. time, and you don't know yes, what's appropriate. It's a, exactly. Yeah. And I, I've sort of come to terms with the fact that I'm not going to please everyone, but I feel, I feel confident in that I can bring joy, which I feel like we need a little bit of right now, and forward momentum. Yep. Um, and then on the day, I'll just use the teleprompter. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> They're all the presenters are female. Yes. Yes. Well, yeah. I, yeah. So that's that's, that's unusual cool. yeah, just yeah, to yeah. start with. It is a nod to the changing climate and a nod to the celebration of women. And uh, if there's a group, you know, this is they say it's the actors' party in the actors' house. Mm -hmm. And since actors are responsible for it, they they feel that some actors have felt unrecognized or marginalized, and they wanted to bring those stories to light and give them the forefront. So they said, okay, women, you're having a, a larger voice now. You're saying a lot of things. Let's give you the the stage. And as well. I the same time, are you shooting a good place right now? Or are no, you... no, we you shoot do have in a break the summer. Yeah, we, I have a break. We shoot, yeah, spring and summer. So I'll go back to it soon. What a great show and a fun show. And Ted Danson is like, I feel like he's like the you version of like guys in a way. Oh, like, that makes me yeah. so happy. I mean, he really I is. Love him. Yeah, he's the greatest, isn't he? Yeah, he's joy personified. And that show, I think it's a show that if you. You, and I don't, I hope you don't mind me saying this, but you can't really just jump in and figure out what's going on. Yeah, it's confusing. Yeah. Well, yeah, it's a, it's a, it requires a little bit of thinking because there are these philosophy lessons peppered throughout all of this comedy, but it makes it kind of digestible. Right. You know, like it makes it digestible because you're telling jokes. And um, I really enjoy it. And this season was really fun to shoot because we left the first season on a gigantic cliffhanger where right. you found, spoiler alert, you found out heaven was actually hell. Mm -hmm. And uh, we wrap up this season in, in a very interesting and enjoyable way that I think will be very entertaining. All right. Well, yeah. there, I think that you've said all you could possibly say yeah. about this. Good luck at the SAG Awards <laughs> on Sunday night. Kristen Bell, everybody. The Good Place, Thursday nights, 8.30 on NBC. Congratulations on making it to the end of a YouTube video. Why not celebrate by clicking the subscribe button? You earned it.